Hi, good evening. I'm Surya, and as today we are completing uh, Alpha Star Cinemost Coaching uh, using Best uh, NLP, Best Life NLP tool. Uh, here, actually, I'm presenting a model uh, which was there in my uh, mind uh, as we, I'm going for an executive uh, coaching model. I'm an executive coaching uh, assignment or a project, and uh, this is a small five minutes presentation, plus minus two minutes. Um, where actually I tried actually to uh, model the entire program in uh, s steps. Uh, before I go with the steps, let me introduce you to the entire project. Here it is uh, for a manufacturing company where actually they want to uh, coach 15 to 20 people. Uh, where probably they will be grooming them for leadership position. Why I'm using probably because they are not very sure where these people are actually heading to. So when I am going uh, through this, uh, what is the difference when I planned this one and what I did earlier? Earlier, the, before I uh, start attending this coaching session, um, the entire model was very confusing for me. Very confusing. Very confusing in terms of what to do, how to do, where to do, when to do, and with whom to do. Whom also is not, was not clear because uh, there are two parties. One is the organization who is actually hiring me as a coach and second are the people who are actually being, uh, will be coached. So I had a confusion that actually how will I go with the coaching session? Should I include those people uh, with, the, with, the, um, uh, with the leaders of the organization or they will be separated? So uh, through the experience of uh, this eight, eight days, actually I got clarity on these things. I'll uh, let you know how it came. Uh, so when uh, we are uh, uh, we are going to start the coaching beforehand, I I plan to do a personality analysis um, of those employees. This is why needed. This is actually not needed for the coaching as I understood in the last eight days. This is needed by the uh, company because they want to understand the competencies of the people and on the basis of those gap through, through which uh, through which they want to actually go for the coaching session that's why I, I decided to go for a personality analysis through which we will be identifying uh, or I'll be identifying the competency gap of these 15 people 15 or 20 people once that has been done then actually the step of coaching is being started when uh, I think I will go for the first round of coaching with these 15 people I think uh, I will uh, I will concentrate on these two major part which is talking about being happy or feeling good for no damn reason and uh, knowing self. I believe these two are very important as we go through the IC probe and powerful questioning. This will actually reveal the self uh, awareness among them. It is I'm saying the revealing the self awareness because it will start from here. Then we will gradually build up build it up to uh, make them achieve that excellence label so uh, for that probably uh, i have written two also here because it is the two step se uh, second step and also i'm attending uh, sorry covering two sessions uh, one is for that uh, feeling good for no da damn region and knowing self and i believe that uh, the gap between these two will be uh, 15 days because as this is more of uh, opening up the awareness inside the human being uh, that's why i believe that uh, 15 days gap will be sufficient to uh, build up these two sessions then in the next stage we are going for the breaking the mastery state because these executive who are there to be uh, to be uh, to be planned to be turned to leadership uh, leadership position they also have an experience of uh, 8 to 10 years at least so i believe that there will be a lot of mastery or closeness in the mind where people would be thinking I know I can I uh, I cannot be uh, I don't need a coach I do not need any intervention so I believe that at that stage it is extremely important to break the mastery before I go for goal setting or excellence so before doing this I believe that I'll go for this and between the second and third step I believe I will have a gap of one and a half month 
so in that way here also they will be fitting up some uh, doing they will be doing uh, some personal uh, goal setting and action uh, plan for themselves and uh, in a cycle of one and a half months we can have actually have a review also where uh, probably i can give them feedback and i believe uh, they will be dependent on me for that feedback thing rather than taking it on their own so once the breaking of mastery uh, step is getting completed then uh, we will go to the next step that is a goal setting so here actually because a lot of work is to be done because goal setting for i have now uh, two clients as i said one is these coachy where I, i will be coaching them and second is a client with whom i have done the contract direct contract the uh, boss of the organization so for them goal setting again lies in the organizational goal setting where the, all those smart goals performance everything is coming into existence so actually while doing the personal goal setting for them i have to keep that thing in mind so before that i need to personally analyze each and every um, individual who are uh, in the coaching process on these two parameters then only i can move to the goal setting uh, process again all these uh, methods of uh, uh, nlp ic pro and uh, all those uh, meta modeling all those will be used in every processes and also in the goal setting and um, i believe that the gap between these two will be uh, two months i may uh, reduce it uh, i mean right now i'm thinking it as two months but uh, obviously i'll take the feedback and uh, look at the entire process of my hand uh, capacity of my handling the entire process so probably uh, two months i'll be taking for that and from here again in another two months we will be moving to the state of excellence so here again the gap i think will be two to two and a half months so entire process is planned for six months Uh, at least at this stage and when we will go to the uh, state of excellence again we will be reviewing the goal and uh, breaking the barriers and making them uh, do the again action plan so that they can reach to the best of their empowerment state so this is my overall plan and here the entire picture is depicting that here all these executive you can see i mean uh, it is very pathetically drawn i understand but <laughs> 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 so please don't uh, judge me from the previous drawing i have done for him i am actually not a good <laughs> good artist so they all have put their uh, hands on their head and looking up because they are confused they do not know how to actually bridge this huge gap so here they all are very happy you can see the smiles here there is i mean the face is absolutely blank so it is uh, no 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 expression the expression is so stoic here they are so happy and they have spread their hands that we are actually now in a state of empowerment and uh, this is not me obviously this is a human uh, uh, mind so these all these things i believe are running uh, on their mind that's why it is in this stage I, i have i finished it this stage because i believe that by by the time they reach here it will not be there this thing will not be there so that's why the the <laughs> this is here and and here when i talk about the gap you can understand it is downward because here it, they understand gap as a gap analysis that means the gap in my competency where i am which i cannot achieve but here when we are talking about gap it is talking about goal achievement and performance so i believe through this they can reach here so this is my overall model <laughs> thanks a lot Thank and i hope i made it in time <laughs> i'm very happy that you are starting like this today thanks a lot the main challenge uh, here is that when you bring them to break their state number 1 that okay this is my must this is must this is should and at this point when you when you want to tell them that um, you will feel good for no damn reason put them such a sign back the challenge that i am sure in my experience is that they think it is a small exercise but if you have put them to what causes you what disturb you and you use the meta model questioning consistent basis is that for and tell them okay just keep coming up that whatever shows up that is causing you is affecting you and they will be all justifying because you making me this way is doing it it's not happening that really is making me doing it Okay, this product is causing me trouble. Uh, this maintenance department is creating problem. So that time, you have to continuously use the meta modeling questioning them, and use a simple IC probe with them. Okay, what will give you some of the positive energy? What option do you have? What do you think that how you are translating it? What else mean you can take it up? 
what's the next thing you can do with them and you have to continuously hold them because here you attain that state here irrespective of everything when you carry on every single you come out the reason that because my child come home late so I can't feel good because husband is making me like this maybe is not coming that's creating problem so just con connect from there okay. so that's not a very just simple equation that you just put them to the state and carry on you know, ask them okay tell me that what all reasons came out and continuously uh, in a week's time just let me know that what all reasons came out could you manage could you not manage what worked what didn't work okay and how will you make that work so it took a very consistent uh, holding their hand in that sense you know, you're not guiding them or holding them but continuously to probe and then give them the power from within and every day you need to bridge up this gap within okay then how do you manage my day and sometimes we have to we have put a track to them that maybe in the beginning that today I have a hour watch myself that I was what was causing me trouble and then takes a week's time entire data like a you are a statistician okay okay look if you have so many things will disturb you where do you want to be and how will this happen and you have to create a very good metabolic story for them what do you think that a person in the higher capacity when everything is going like you have a very high perspective in Narendra Modi Obama what do you think that? How do they manage themselves? And all the things keep troubling for Obama in some country, in some region is troubling, and for Modi in some part, in some India is troubling. So how do you remain? So continuously creating a metaphor because this stage is not uh, that easy. Yes. And the one uh, another way is that when they come to know that well, these are the qualities that other people, uh, India people inspire me, and you can start also coaching them the presence that okay how do you bring these qualities in you what do you have to do for that and you start coaching them on how you sustain them what behaviors you put it and also at the same time before you go even here at this step um, to perspective ask them really find out that who, to whom does your performance your communication matters and what do you think that is inside their head going on which you have to grow up will matter to you. So what will be their feedback from you? The person starts caring. So if you can move from 2 to 3, that will be a big, big, big step. Big step. Okay? That's where you require to be more trust. Right? Give me a good hand. Okay? And Thank you. you. People do a great job. Three were just talking to someone. This coach is just a house lady. And she was very skeptical. I don't remember her face even. That's how she looked even because mostly I forget cases. And uh, I remember I have been reminded by names and face and everything. But she reminded that she was the one who said, How will I work from home? I'm just married and all those things. And uh, I don't know what we will be using it. She told Siri that she has signed up an agreement with 25 executives in the company. Wow. Okay? Think about it. Okay? So why did you put this example over here? Yeah, because she's already signed up. Okay, so this example is that you have a scope in the company that well. they need you. Yeah. and they need women coaches more than the men. Okay, this one. Okay. Thank you. Ah.